into your arms and welcome him into paradise, where there will be no sorrow, no weeping, no pain, but the fullness of peace and joy with your Son and the, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Mm -hmm. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For in God alone is my soul at rest. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes in pl a plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. Response? God alone is my soul at rest. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power. And he Walking up to the grave, straight up behind these trees here, just beyond the roundabout, about four or five hundred yards up there. There's a main drive going up here, just above the roundabout there. You wait for us coming up there. Anybody walking up? You've got cars you can pull, haven't you? Walking up. Straight up this path, about 50 yards above the roundabout there. See the coming down.
touch him with life made you. May he in the light of your countenance behold eternal life in heaven, you who live and reign forever and ever. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you to bless and protect Tony and may he be with you now and may all his family be comforted by the knowledge that you are still alive and are with God. And the one people that Christ was close to on earth was those who were hurting. So he showed great empathy and feeling and so he shows great empathy and feeling for those who mourn, as well as those who die. It has pleased Almighty God to call our brother Tony from this life to himself. Accordingly, we commit his body to the earth whence it came. Since Christ, the first fruits of the dead, has risen again, and will refashion our frail body in the pattern of his glorious risen body, we commend our brother Tony to the, to the Lord. May he embrace him in his peace and bring his body to life again on the last day. Let us pray for our brother to our Lord Jesus Christ who has said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever believes in me shall never die. We beg you, Lord, who wept over the dead Lazarus, to wipe away the tears from our eyes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask you, Lord, who reach the dead, who recall the dead to life, to grant eternal life to our brother Tony. Lord, hear us. We call upon you who promised paradise to the repentant thief to bring this brother of ours to heaven. Lord, hear us. And lead our brother, washed by the waters of baptism and anointed with holy oil, into the company of your saints. Lord, hear us. And bring our brother nourished by the sacred food of your own body and blood to the banquet of your kingdom. Lord, hear us. And grant that we who mourn for our brother may be consoled by faith and strengthened by the hope of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Show your mercy, Lord, to this departed servant of yours, and since he strove to do your will, let him not be punished for wrongdoing, but as he was united in the true faith, he rest in peace, amen. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace, amen. In the name of the...
see that tell me did you hear that Yes, oh, it's a lovely spread. You know, come, come for a bit of a work.